And now I wait. Welcome back, guys. Well, we all know that was a scary dramatization, um, but when you're spending time out in the woods, you know that things can happen. And what do you do? Are you prepared? Uh, what would you do if you were in that kind of situation, very injured, unable to hike out on your own? Have you thought of that? Stay tuned, I'm gonna talk about a few locating devices that can help you in a critical situation. As you know, I spend a lot of time off grid, hiking around, doing a lot of things, quite often even alone. And I've been thinking that I should probably have uh, a device to locate me if I was sort of uh, gravely injured and needed attention but was unable to get out on my own power. So um, I'm also looking for a new GPS unit. So I was kind of keeping those things in mind. I want something to locate me and maybe have some GPS capability. Uh, so I did some research and I looked into three devices. Let's talk about them and I'll tell you which one I decided on. So the two most popular uh, locating devices are the InReach Explorer and the Spot Location Device. So the InReach Explorer uh, is a unit that has GPS capability. You know, you can use it to, to go in the woods. It'll track your location, even send your location to friends or family. And also it has an SOS capability. So essentially it works on the, um, the Global Iridium Satellite System, which they say provides 100% coverage across the globe. So that was super attractive. Um, you can you know, use it all over the world. If you get in a situation, you push the SOS button. Uh, you can either send a, you know, a message to family if you're not in a critical situation, but you, know, you needed to get out somewhere because you, know, you ran out of gas in your snowmobile or um, you know, your ATV broke down and uh, you need a hand or you have a minor injury and you know, your party's sort of back at the cabin, well, you can send a text message to them and they can come get you. Or if you're in a really bad situation and you need evacuation, the unit will, if you hit the SOS button, send uh, you know, a ping to the satellite system there uh, and get you in touch basically with uh, you know, the rescue, uh, search and rescue. So that you know, unit was really attractive to me. It had GPS, it was um, a solid device. It's quite expensive though, I think. Uh, some of the uh, InReach Explorers are you know, $600, $700, depending on how fancy you wanna get with it. You know, if you wanna be able to send texts back and forth, link it to your cell phone, um, have all that GPS capability, you're looking at sort of a higher end unit. One thing with the uh, InReach Explorer is it does require a subscription. So a monthly subscription that you need to pay to uh, the company. Um, so it is a private company that uh, uh, has this product. It's a Garmin product, but the, uh, the company that does a subscription service, at least in Canada, is a, another um, organization. So for basic setup with your SOS capability, um, it can text, but you get charged uh, every time you send a text. I think it's like 95 cents a text or something like that. Um, the, the cost can get pretty prohibitive. I mean, it's, we're looking at probably 20 bucks a month Canadian for a, a basic plan, sometimes going up to 70, 80, even $130 a month uh, for, for some of these features, you know, especially if you want unlimited texting, uh, if you wanted tracking on all the time so people can follow you on social media where you're going, um, you know, those things get pretty expensive. Now, the attractive thing is that it doesn't require any kind of a contract. And so, uh, you know, they, they say, oh, well, you know, you just give us 30 days notice and then, you know, you can cancel or put your policy on hold for a few months, you know, when you're not out in the bush. So there used to be, there never used to be really a fee, I think, to suspend it. Um, but now since... Um, you know, a different company's taken over subscription service, there is a charge. I think it's like $4.95 a month to suspend or something like that. Uh, you'd have to go on the website to check it out, which I'll put the link down below in the description box. Um, so there is a, a charge to suspend, uh, you know, your account, uh, but no reactivation fee. So I thought about that as like, that seems to add up a lot. You know, if you're looking at, you know, your basic plan plus the unit, um, you know, it does take lithium batteries as well. So those are going to have to be replaced. I was, uh, the unit was kind of not attractive to me. You know, it's a, a generalist machine and you know it does your you know your uh, your SOS and uh, your GPS and your texting but really is it a master of any of them I'm not really sure the next one I looked at was the spot locator this one the price is a lot more attractive I think uh, you know under $200 um, and it can send uh, a pre-programmed message uh, you know say hey I'm okay uh, and ping and put your location basically so your friends and family can see where you are it also has the SOS capability so if you push the button private company again um, you know gets the message from the satellite that you need assistance and uh, search and rescue is initiated uh, but 
again, with this company, there is a fee. So there's a fee to set it up. Uh, and I think it's $150 a year um, for just like kind of like a basic policy. Uh, you, I think included in it, you can have some, you know, social media connectivity. So you can sort of post on Facebook or wherever, you know, you're located like, hey, I'm here having a good time, like a pre-programmed message. Um, but this unit, uh, the downside of it, it doesn't have a GPS, uh, it doesn't have a GPS unit. So you can't really like, you know, see where you're going or download maps or things like that. Like, you know, you're in reach can do that or a basic GPS can do that but not the spot it's purely just a, a way to get in contact with friends or family and search and rescue if you're in trouble again it's operated by a private company and there are fees associated with having the unit I believe there are some batteries involved as well some lithium batteries that you need to replace but uh, you know eh, I was kind of like I don't know if I want that either so the other option I looked into was a personal location beacon. So, you know, I'm really, if I ask myself an honest question, what I want when I'm out here, it's, you know, I have a GPS. Yeah, it's not amazing, but you know, it, it does a good job. It's a, a little Garmin E-Trex. Um, I'll probably upgrade in the future, but right now I'm really concerned about personal safety and rescue if I get in a bad situation. So I wanted kind of the best type of unit for that. And that really is a personal location beacon. And I want to show you the one I picked up. So here it is. This is the ACR Rescue Link Plus. Uh, it is a buoyant personal location beacon and you got to see it a little bit in that dramatization I did at the beginning of the video. So this is like the ideal thing for personal safety as far as I'm concerned. Um, this unit basically operates, it's a, it's a strong unit, it operates uh, on radio frequency at, uh, it has five watts of power, which is great, especially, you know, if you have a, a fair bit of tree coverage and you're in a situation that uh, you can't rescue yourself out of. It works where cell phones won't, so that's really important. And what it does is, you know, when you're in a situation, it's really easy. And obviously this is an extreme emergency. You cannot evacuate yourself. Um, the unit here, you open up this uh, little antenna here and there's a, a button right here underneath the little arm and you press it down uh, for a second and it alerts the government that you're in trouble. Yes, this is actually monitored by the government. Now, now don't freak out. Um, they don't track you all the time. It's just, if you are in an emergency situation, the signal from this goes up to two satellite systems, actually. Goes up to the COPSAS SARSAT satellite network, and the signal um, gets transmitted at 406 megahertz, and it goes to uh, our Canadian military. Or if you're in the States, it's gonna go to NOAA. Um, so you wanna make sure you have a unit that's basically coded for your country, is what I should, I should say. So this one's coded for Canada, so, um, Basically, I registered this online and this, when I push this button and I, I leave it sort of sit out here. So the signal it sends to the satellite system uh, is basically uh, tells them your GPS coordinates, where you're located so that search and rescue can come and find you. So the signal goes to CFB Trenton, uh, which is one of our military bases. And from there, you know, professional search and rescue uh, send you know notifications to local authorities where you know this uh, beacon is is pinging from that uh, hey i need help and it has a 121.5 uh, megahertz homing beacon so when uh, the search and rescue gets nearby you can hone right in on where you're located uh, this unit operates for 30 hours uh, once it's activated and that's plenty of time you know where i'm going uh, to get rescued and uh, otherwise the unit's sort of off you know in standby mode the battery lasts it's a sort of a lithium battery it lasts for six years so this unit costs about four hundred dollars in six years time uh, they recommend to get the battery replaced in it and it's done professionally and then you're back on track again so when it's operational it works between minus 20 and uh, plus 55 celsius and when it's just stored and inactive it can be kept at minus 40 to plus 70 celsius so surely that's a really wide range for the unit to tolerate so i'm pretty impressed with that what I needed to do when I got this unit was to register it with uh, the government. So there is a website, a personal location beacon a registry that I had to sign up and I had to put my emergency contact information in there. So friends and family that, you know, may know about my travel plans um, would know how best uh, to help me out if I had medical issues or something. Uh, you can even probably post, you can even post on there in some areas your, your itinerary because they'll go to that first once they get your signal, find out who you are, you know, notify your friends and family that there is a rescue operation, um, you know, on the way that you've, uh, you signal for help. And uh, any information you can provide on that document is also extremely helpful to them. 
I like this unit as well um, because it floats. So it lasts, uh, you know, I, if it drop down 10 meters, it's only going to last about 10 minutes, but it's about an hour um, floating in the water. Um, and it, uh, you know, keeps all the electronics safe. It's, it's nicely sealed in there. It's a, it's a solid unit. And it's got a nice little strap on it right here so that you can strap it to like a life jacket or on your backpack. Or I just sort of, as you saw in the video there, I just sort of tuck it in the back of my backpack. So I think it's really helpful. I think this this is the solution for me. It may not be the solution for you. Um, that's why I talked about the other two units, but this one, you know, I don't really need to text people when I'm in the woods or anything like that. Um, you know, if I'm by myself, people usually know, you know where I'm going uh, and the region to look for me. Um, but this is good to have in case, you know, something really bad happens. You know, I just hit the button and, uh, help is on the way and it's really encouraging. I read a lot of reviews online about it, um, some actual rescue efforts that happened even here in Ontario and I was very impressed and the people who had these units were extremely impressed. Um, and I know uh, a lot of people in the search and rescue industry highly advocate for these personal locator beacons over some of the other units I discussed which are run sort of by private corporations and you know if they go out of business well you know your unit may not work anymore. Whereas this, you know this is government monitored um, Again, I'm not tracked. This is not, you know, your government will not track you with this unless you're in an emergency situation. So anyway, this is available in a lot of different countries in the world, um, many different countries, but make sure, I have to highly advise you, get the unit that's coded for your country. If I bought this unit on Amazon, um, I may accidentally have ended up with the, uh, the US unit and then it wouldn't, like, I think you can't, doesn't really work well in Canada. Um, so get the unit that's coded for your country. Um, this one I think is coded for Australia, New Zealand, Canada. There's ones for the US and other parts of the world. So uh, if you're interested in something like this, there's lots of different products out there. This is just the ACR Rescue Link Plus brand that I decided on and I'm really happy with it. I think I made a great choice. Um, so only you guys can decide, uh, you know, what's best for you for your personal safety out in the woods in terms of getting help to you. But I hope this video uh, tells you a little bit about a few of the devices out there and then you can decide for yourselves. All right, guys, let me know down below in the comments if you've ever had to use one of these things, either the personal location beacon or inReach or spot locator. Uh, I'd love to hear your stories and hopefully everything turned out really well for you. Uh, I hope never to have to really test this in real life. So I did a little test in here where you ping the satellite and check the GPS is working and it is, so that's great. Um, I should also mention that this unit, if you're not, you rescue finds you before you know the, the big guns arrive, uh, you can cancel uh, the rescue as well uh, with this unit by pressing the button a little bit longer. So I hope this helps you uh, in thinking a little bit about safety when you're out in the woods, either alone or with a group of people in an area where your cell phone may not work. How are you going to get out? So thanks so much guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys have a great week as always. Take care. Mm -hmm.